Hey, it's Mike here from Boss Process, and welcome to Pitlock. Now, your name is actually Pitlock in the game, and Pitlock is the game. Yeah, there's a little joke there. So, basically, you're a thief. You uh, examine the robbery scene, work out how to break and sneak into the building without being spotted, and then you've got to steal certain objectives throughout the game and then escape, basically. So, you start off in your own little home. Uh, you can have a look around, you can interact with a couple of things. And each time you complete uh, an objective, you earn some money as well. And you can spend that on your home. So, you can go to the repair home. What can you do in a repair home? You can buy paint. Kind of. So you can change how the, how the style of the room looks. You can also upgrade your... Uh, vehicle so you can see in this dealership there's a couple of cars to cycle through and purchase uh, so the car doesn't make any difference to the game it just it just makes you look cool while you're doing robberies because you know you want to look cool while you're doing this kind of stuff and of course villas so I don't have enough money yet to upgrade my empire of my house but you can get some quite fancy uh, holiday destinations uh, the pawn shop is he's that's like you go to place so you go and see this guy and he'll give you your missions on um, what to do and he'll open up new missions to complete once you've completed those scenarios and then you go back to him and you also get new equipment as well sometimes so this is the actual game itself you start off with, you get a drone, the drone automatically goes into the air so that enables you to change the camera angles and also you can zoom in as well. And it's a simple of case of pressing a couple of buttons that will open the doors, pit lock them and then you'll move around, work out where the uh, objects are to steal. Once you've got the object you then just basically walk out of the building, jump in your car and away you go. Sounds simple, doesn't it? So once you start getting into some of the higher risk uh, type of robberies, you'll need to work out the strategy of how to complete the mission itself. So you can use your drone to uh, basically highlight where the guard's going to be walking and also where he's going to be sleeping. So you'll see the different cold lines that will appear that will help you remember what path it's going to take each time. And then also the numbers will appear on the lines and that will indicate how long they're going to sleep for in that given spot. So it's quite a casual game but it does keep you on your toes while you're playing it because for the, the early missions it's it's quite straightforward, it's more of a uh, hide and seek to begin with. Obviously if he walks down the corridor you can just go in a room and hide. But later down the lines the missions get quite more complex and you need to really think of how to complete that objective. Now some of the missions aren't a straightforward thing to do, you've got to kind of work out what to do. So in this example, the, you have to cut the power off for the building, otherwise uh, the shopkeeper would have just stayed where he was. So that distracted him and made him go to see towards what was happening.
then of course if you get caught you get decked <laughs> and then you return back to your home and if you go into your desk uh, it'll bring up the map so that'll show you the different places where you can drive to and they'll also highlight your current mission and you can also complete past missions as well again and then some of the objects just get a bit more complex so there's tiered levels on this one so i'm actually going into a, a like a house that's got security guards outside the building and also uh, cameras that are set on motion detection So while it does look like some of the missions you can just run and run out, run in and run out, which you could do that if you know where you're running, uh, but you do need to think on your on your feet a lot more on the higher level missions. So there we have it, this was Picklock and this was on the Nintendo Switch and I hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know if you want to see any more footage of this game and I'll see you in the next video.